So it's 7 a.m. and I'm already pretty much disaster proofed <laughs> in changing out the chickens water this morning I managed to swamp <laughs> the entire bathroom which is awesome I guess it needed to be mopped anyway um, so there's a little bit of that action going on upstairs by the chickens and then got them out <laughs> while I was changing out their water and spent 10 more minutes cleaning everything out my goodness I had no idea how much chickens poop but wow y'all <laughs> wow I love them so but man I can't wait until they have their own place <laughs> um, they still won't be ready to move out yet they're still too small and they don't have enough feathers but we're gonna get there and when they get there I'm going to celebrate <laughs> Sun is back and we're gonna go get the plants out of the basement hopefully everything went okay and they're looking good so let's see how it went snow's almost gone so there's that all right so let's get everybody outside Okay, we got all the plants moved back into the greenhouse. Let's take a look and see how stuff is doing. It looks like most of it all came through okay. Um, in the basement, they were under kind of a weak grow light and they did that for 48 hours. <laughs> so let's have a look. Okay, as you can see, the tomatoes have all managed to get a bit of a bend in them. Hopefully that will clean itself up while outside for the next few days. The eggplant is looking a little wrinkly, but I don't think it's anything that it can't bounce back from. Um, yeah, mostly everything's just got a bit of a lean to them from aiming towards that grow light. These tomatoes, These tomatoes, in addition to needing some water, do they? they might need some water today, but boy, oh boy, they're really leaning. Um, I'm hoping that they come back to upright. I was super worried about these peanuts, but it looks like nothing slowed it down. We've got, we've got some leaves coming up here. So it's happening. It's happening. Again, we've got more tomatoes leaning over. Hopefully they will raise their heads up to the light. And everything else looks like it did okay. So for the time being, we are, we came out of this okay. I'm gonna water everybody up real good in a little bit and um, get them back to being in the greenhouse. We're gonna have to do this trot one more time. I think Wednesday night into Thursday is gonna be very cold. But yeah, I am determined, I am determined to have electrical hooked up to this greenhouse by next spring. Uh, if we could just keep it warm, temperature controlled. So if you have any ideas, if anybody's done like um, a mini solar cell and a battery, let me know what your experience has been like with that and I will go and research that nonsense because I think I think that's the last little bit that we really want for a growing season. All right, so that's the greenhouse for today. The guys are gonna start building our chicken coop um, today and I'll try and get some footage of that too. So, onward.
know. Sue came up with a good idea for how we're going to do the extension of the of the run. And the idea is we're going to take a little cage that was attached to the front of it and we're going to put that at the end of the run. And then we're just going to build the run between the coop and the end. So we basically just have to build one box. The boards we're going to use for it, or at least some of the boards we're going to use for it, are excess from when we built the storage shelving downstairs. So I am loath to get rid of anything. We had perfectly good 2x4s, so that's what we're going to use to do the base framing on this. And then I'll go pick up more lumber tomorrow to complete the frame and the, and the roof. So the rest of the pre-assembled parts are all put together. We got the roofs on and everything secured. And I've got the two by fours all laid out marking where the run's gonna be. And tomorrow I will go and pick up the rest of the lumber and the fencing and we will get the run assembled. So it's Wednesday, it is sunny, it is lovely out and tonight we'll be in the 30s so we'll be moving everything back into the basement for a few days. It is so weird y'all. I'm going to be moving everything into the basement in the middle of hardening stuff off. I'm getting my brassicas ready to go out, I'm getting a bunch of my flowers ready to go out. I guess this is what spring in New England looks like, right? We get mud season and then this period of moving stuff all over the place because the weather is, she drunk, she drunk y'all. <laughs> but maybe it's just, you know, the heady celebration before summer comes in and warms everything up full time. Um, but I wanted to show you this fantastic chicken coop because the guys finished it yesterday and I can't wait to get the girls down out of my guest room and into this chicken coop in a few weeks. It's so exciting. We're going to have a couple of chicken play dates, I think, starting today <laughs> so that I can clean that room and get into that brooder. The one thing that we do still need to do is work on the locks and latches. I don't know what Bill has planned, but he's got some ideas because right now we've got these little latches that Raccoons are not going to have a problem with the current latches that are on this coop, so so we're going to get on that. <laughs> but in the meanwhile, I would love to give you a, a tour of the, the chicken coop. So here it is. You can see we took that end and that end and the guys put in some boards and hung up the hardware cloth. My mother and I have been referring to this middle bit as the breezeway. <laughs> We're going to try and engage in a chicken field trip this afternoon and get them in here, see what they think about it. Um, so I'm hoping the chickens really enjoy this. I, I can't see why they wouldn't. It's freaking great. It's more room than they've got upstairs to fuss around in. Um, and once we get the latches changed, they'll be able to be in there without a supervising adult. <laughs> We've got a few weeks before the chickens are going to go out full time. Um, so that'll give us a moment to get everything together, put on the finishing touches. Um, but for now, we're hoping they can be out here supervised for a little bit and enjoy themselves. I'm going to shoot a little more video this afternoon when we get the chickens out here to play, hopefully. Um, if the weather holds off, it's pretty, it's kind of overcast y'all. So we'll have to see if the weather holds out. We'll have a, a little bit of a chicken field trip this afternoon. My brother's coming over with his kiddos, so that'll be fun. Um, and if not, maybe tomorrow we'll be able to get out here and see what the girls think. I'm so excited for them. Their first place all on their own. They're gonna do marvelously. They've got mad skills. So until next time, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Take care. Bye bye.
I'm gone too long.